Hello, welcome to your news English of the Nine Radio and Television Station. Here comes our news today. Vietnam is still a destination chosen by many international investors, including Asian investors, in the coming term. With the advantage of regional agreements, including the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, RCEP, and the Comprehensive and Progressive Agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership, CPTPP, and free trade agreements that create favorable foundation for the country export growth, multinational companies as well as Vietnamese exporters have the privilege of free access to 15 of the G20 markets. In addition, Vietnam's domestic consumption market is equally important for multinational companies to invest here in the context that Western multinational companies are grappling with challenges from macroeconomics and geopolitical tensions. This may be a favorable term for Vietnam to focus its efforts on attracting more FDI inflows in Central Asia. According to HSPC, in 2023, Vietnam will still be the destination chosen by many international investors, including Asian investors, in the near future. The government has asked the Ministry of Transport to reveal the content of the Inland Container Depot. ICD planning, ensuring feasibility and efficiency, and avoiding spreading and wasting resources. It is forecasted that the total demand for investment capital for ICD development by 2030 will be about 15.9 to 18.7 trillion Vietnam dong, in which, in the period from now to 2025, focus and encourage investment in a number of ICD on transport corridors connecting with major seaport border gates in the north. Hai Phong Seaport, Tân Thanh Lãng Sơn Border Gate, and the Southern Region, Ho Chi Minh City Seaport, Cam Ep Thị Vãi Port Area, ICD associated with cross-border transport corridors. The total area of coffee growing in Vietnam is about 710,000 hectares, but the harvest is only about 650,000 hectares. The coffee industry has very low sustainable value, accounting for only 23%. Vietnam's robust coffee has not been protected in any other country. If protected, Vietnamese coffee will increase in value. Besides, thanks to participating in free trade agreements, the coffee industries have also begun to trace origin, food safety and registered geographical indication. Currently, Vietnam ranks second in the world in terms of coffee exports, but it is not in the list of the 10 most expensive coffee brands in the world. Although coffee exports are large, the value added chain for Vietnamese coffee growers is very small. Vietnam's coffee has no brand. The added value of farmers is extremely low compared to retailers. To develop sustainably, Vietnamese businesses need to build a brand. During a surprise visit to Iraq on March the 7th, U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin held talks with the Prime Minister of this country, Mohammed al Sadani. After the meeting, Mr. Austin said the U.S. remained committed to the security of Iraq and the region. American forces are ready to stay in Iraq at the invitation of the Iraqi government, he added. The visit took place before the anniversary of the U.S.-led war that overthrew the government of Saddam Hussein on March 20, 2003. The U.S. military later withdrew but deployed troops to fight Islamic State fighters. In 2021, Washington announced the end of all combat operations in Iraq. About 2,500 U.S. personnel are currently stationed to train and support Iraqi forces. The British government on March 7 announced a plan to drastically stop the flow of illegal migrants from France into the U.K. through the English Channel. Under the bill, illegal immigrants via the route would be deported, banned from entering the UK and banned from applying for British citizenship. 
Once deported, migrants will be sent back to their homeland or to a safe destination like Rwanda under the framework of an agreed partnership between the two countries. The legal rights of these people will be significantly restricted. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak insists the purpose of the new law is to help Britain regain control of the border. In 2022, more than 45,000 people crossed the English Channel in small powers to enter the UK, up 60% from the previous year. From the beginning of 2023 until now, this number has increased to nearly 3,000 people. That's all for our news English for today. Thank you for joining us and goodbye.